Good afternoon, folks. As promised, we're going to put the continued research on the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation, the AMOC, into the bigger picture. This morning we got this article, once again confirming that the collapse of the ocean heat transport is underway. The ocean circulations are shutting down and this is a very big deal. We've had plenty of papers on this topic over the last several years, but this year we have entered a new realm of awareness. You may remember this one from February, indicating that the collapse was accelerating and that it was likely to occur between 2040 and 2065. Another paper that month confirmed that all signs were pointing towards the tipping point and collapse of the AMOC. So why is this such a big deal? As even the Weather Channel pointed out, this is exactly what happened in the 2004 film, The Day After Tomorrow. You remember, Dennis Quaid, global warming causes massive global cooling via the impact on the oceans, a self-correction process of the earth, causing a return to glacial ice age conditions. It is caused by heat and too much melting of polar ice. This chills the oceans and freshens them, which causes the circulations to shut down, it cools the atmosphere, and it allows ice to form more easily. When the circulations fail, heat transport failures trigger an enormous reversal of temperature trends, and a large-scale, rapid cooling event occurs. This has been happening to the Earth about every 6,000 years, and is often referred to as a Heinrich event. You may recall that this is part of a triple disaster on our doorstep now, a climate, geomagnetic, and solar disaster rolled into one as we described in several videos, including the one you see at the bottom of the page. We got a paper earlier this year suggesting that the ice loss occurring right now was the exact type we'd expect in Heinrich events, the exact type that geologic evidence suggests preceded previous cold shifts in those Heinrich events. What's interesting is the papers on the topic so far are 100% ignoring the Beaufort gyre. Several years ago, Yale called it the cold climate bomb. Basically, the gyre got stuck in accumulation phase of cold fresh water and when it eventually releases, that'll be like steroids to the situation we've just described, the ocean chilling and AMOC collapse. Last year we learned that it has stabilized and is preparing to release. When it happens, it's pretty much game over for global warming. To review so far, we already have the AMOC collapsing due to the warming trend and ice loss. The gyre is about to release, which again is not in these models, and it will amplify these trends to extreme levels, and that'll be the final straw for the Heinrich event to occur, causing the major cooling trend. This is part of that 6,000 year cycle of climate geomagnetic, and solar disasters that is about to happen again now. Not only does this climate shift occur every 6,000 years, but so does a geomagnetic excursion, and the solar super flare cycle is 6,000 years, with an amplified micro nova level event every other cycle, a 12,000 year event. It's been 6,000 years since the last one, 12,000 years since the last micronova and major excursion. Not only are the climate signals here right on time, but the magnetic field of Earth is shifting and weakening right on time. The magnetic and coronal chemistry changes are beginning on the Sun as well. It is all happening right on time and is likely to begin amplifying very soon. During the period of 2000 to 2020, the oceans changed even more than the magnetic field, which is accelerating its change a great deal, especially after the 2023 acceleration. And in June, we got word that updated calculations suggested that the timeline could be moved up to 2037, with the most likely scenario being an AMOC collapse before 2050. This is what was confirmed in this morning's paper, and remember, these studies are only considering the atmospheric warming and polar ice loss. They do not factor in the gyre release. When that happens, chaos begins. The oceans will throw the climate into chaos. The magnetic excursion will wreck animal navigation and allow a flood of space radiation into the atmosphere. And then, the sun will deal the final blow, as it has every 6,000 years, as it did 6,000 years ago. Subscribe here for daily updates, and I'll see you in the morning for the daily show. Be safe, everyone.